Welcome you all for uh, the series of lecture on surface uh, in the metrology. Now, we will start uh, module uh, number uh, 5, lecture number uh, 1. In this uh, module, we will be covering uh, the following uh, aspects of uh, measurement of surface finish. We will uh, learn uh, about uh, basic uh, basics of surface uh, finish and how the surface finish is indicated on uh, technical uh, drawings and what are the various uh, parameters used in the measurement of uh, surface finish. And then we will move on to the different kinds of uh, uh, measurement of uh, surface finish like uh, contact method and uh, non-contact uh, method. And we will also learn uh, some uh, offline methods and uh, in process uh, gauging of uh, surface finish and then we will move to care of uh, instruments. Now, let us uh, understand what is the meaning of uh, the surface finish. If you take any engineering uh, component, it will have uh, a surface which is uh, open to atmosphere, atmosphere and there are some uh, valleys and uh, peaks on the uh, outer boundary of the work piece. And, uh, uh, the sometimes uh, the surface will be very rough and sometimes it will be very uh, smooth. In some cases uh, where there are uh, uh, sliding parts, for example, uh, machine tool uh, uh, guideways or bearing uh, surfaces, we need to have very fine uh, and smooth uh, surface so that uh, the frictional uh, forces uh, are uh, reduced. And in some cases, uh, we need to have uh, somewhat rough uh, surface. For example, in the cases of uh, uh, mating parts which are not, uh, not to be moved, uh, there is no sliding uh, between uh, two mating parts, for example, parts in interference fit. So, in such cases, uh, to prevent uh, the relative motion between the two parts, we need to have uh, a slightly rough uh, uh, surface. This uh, surface finish, uh, it is also known as uh, surface uh, texture or uh, surface uh, topography. And uh, in some cases, uh, we, sh we require very fine uh, uh, surface just to improve uh, uh, look of the component or the uh, product. And uh, we need to measure the finish of the surface to control uh, the machining process uh, also. Now, you can see here, uh, we have uh, two uh, mating uh, parts. You can see the finish on the face of this uh, uh, cylindrical part and uh, the roughness on the, uh, 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 the round uh, cylindrical uh, portion. Also, we can see this finish of uh, the, this flat surface and here intentionally they are uh, made very uh, rough uh, to have a proper uh, gripping. And we have another uh, uh, picture of a flat surface which is a, a face turned uh, component. We can see, see clearly see the rough uh, surface and uh, we can see the circular, uh, the concentric uh, circles made by the cutting tool, uh, uh, cutting action. The surface uh, roughness is uh, very important from the point of view of uh, fundamental problems such as uh, friction and wear, surface contact, lubrication fatigue strength and uh, tightness of uh, joints. It uh, affects uh, the conduction of heat and uh, electrical current, cleanliness, reflectivity of the surface and uh, sealing action. It uh, definitely affects uh, the positional accuracy of uh, mating parts, load carrying capacity, resistance to corrosion and adhesion of paint and uh, coatings. And then uh, the accuracy and uh, surface finish requirements for uh, machine parts in the modern industry are becoming uh, more and more uh, uh, stringent. If the machining imperfections exceed the design uh, specifications, then uh, the functionality of the product is uh, definitely affected. So, it is very essential uh, to check whether uh, the design of the work piece 
complies with uh, the functional uh, requirements of the product. Hence, it is necessary to check the geometry and uh, the surface characteristics of uh, the workpiece. Say we have a component uh, like this and then I am just uh, showing the details of uh, this particular surface. So, now we can see it appears to be some uh, uh, wavy that means with respect to this point what is the height of this point, what is the height of this point like this the relationship between various points on the same uh, surface uh, we will be uh, studying and then uh, uh, every part surface, every engineering component surface uh, will have uh, a sort of uh, uh, texture. It can be a rough texture or a very smooth texture or it, it can have a very uh, specific uh, type of uh, 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 surface as shown in the previous uh, picture. And then uh, measurement of surface texture uh, is very essential to understand a component's uh, surface and uh, to control the manufacturing uh, process to the degree required in uh, today's uh, modern uh, world. So, surface texture parameters are uh, grouped into many basic uh, categories like uh, roughness uh, parameters, waviness uh, parameters and spacing uh, parameters and also the combination of these termed as hybrid uh, parameters. Now, what are the various uh, principal, principal elements of uh, a surface? Now, uh, you can see here the, the general uh, term uh, surface, it is the boundary of any engineering uh, component which is exposed to the atmosphere or other uh, kind of uh, uh, media. And then we say a profile, it is uh, the contour of uh, any specified section uh, through a uh, surface. For example, uh, So, we have a component uh, which is turned like this. Now, you can see here, if you take this uh, particular uh, portion, now it has uh, a taper uh, component, maybe because of some error in the machine tool uh, slide movement, and also it will have uh, some. Uh, periodic uh, uh, shape like this which is uh, termed as uh, a waviness. If you take, if you consider the small portion of this wavy surface and enlarge it, it will have uh, a surface uh, uh, like this which is uh, termed as uh, uh, roughness. That means, profile it consists of all, it consists all the elements like uh, the form mirror of the work piece and then the wavy uh, surfaces and then roughness. Uh, of the surface, uh, its total uh, uh, contour of uh, the uh, surface is known as uh, the profile. And then uh, the roughness is uh, the closely spaced uh, irregular deviations on a smaller portion of uh, waviness as uh, considered here. And then uh, uh, we have uh, the waviness. Uh, uh, it is a recurrent deviation from a flat surface. Uh, it is uh, like a uh, wave on a surface of uh, water. It is measured and uh, described in terms of uh, space between adjacent uh, crests and uh, peaks and valleys uh, like this. Okay, it looks uh, something like this. This is a, a peak and then this is uh, the valley and uh, we measure uh, the distance between peaks and valleys and distance between two peaks and uh, such uh, uh, parameters uh, we study. This waviness is uh, uh, caused uh, due to deflection of uh, tools and uh, work pieces. Uh, for example, we have uh, the work piece mounted between uh, two centers and when we use the cutting tool, when we press so, if it is slender, it may bend like this, the work piece may bend like this, because of uh, this waviness uh, may occur. And also, uh, the, the cutting forces uh, will cause uh, the 
uh, waviness and uh, temperature variations cause the variations and if the lubrication is uh, not proper then also the waviness may occur and machine tool vibration charter of the cutting tool. Uh, these are some of the uh, reasons why the waviness uh, occurs on the surface. And then maybe there are some uh, flaws uh, like uh, the maybe a blow hole on the surface. On the component surface maybe there is a, a blow hole uh, or uh, some scratch may be there or a crack or some depression. So, such things are uh, known as uh, flaws and uh, lay it is uh, the direction of uh, the predominant uh, surface uh, pattern which is uh, 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 visible to the naked eye. So, this uh, appears on the surface because of uh, the tool uh, movement of the surface tool it is uh, like a tool mark on uh, the machined uh, component. Now, uh, we can uh, see all those uh, terminologies in this uh, diagram. So, you can see this is the total uh, profile which uh, consists of waviness of uh, the surface and then uh, micro irregularities, micro asperities, uh, valleys and peaks as also the uh, taper and drum shape or barrel shape. So, that uh, total uh, 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 various parameters are uh, combined in this uh, uh, in this particular uh, shape and which is termed as a profile and here you can see there is a scratch in the or depression in the surface so this is known as a flaw and we can also see the uh, the direction of tool mark which is termed as a lay now when we remove this micro irregularities or roughness then we will get the waviness like this and this is the waviness height that is the distance between peak and valley and also the distance between two peaks or distance between two valleys is termed as uh, waviness uh, spacing. And uh, if we remove the waviness uh, part of uh, the profile then we will get uh, only the micro irregularities which is uh, termed as uh, roughness and uh, the distance between uh, peak and valley is termed as uh, roughness height and the pitch this pitch that is distance between two peak, uh, peaks is uh, termed as roughness. Uh, spacing. Now, we will have uh, another uh, diagram, we have another diagram here uh, which will help us to understand uh, the various uh, terminologies. So, this is a flat uh, surface and when we closely observe we can see the unevenness, okay. this is uh, the wavy uh, waviness we can observe and then uh, the direction of uh, tool mass we can observe and the flaw also we can observe. And then when we measure the surface uh, uh, finish, we will take, we will move the instrument. For example, if you take a stylus type uh, instrument, we move the stylus or the probe on the surface to a particular uh, length which is uh, termed as uh, traversing length. And uh, this portion traversing length, uh, uh, the profile is uh, enlarged here, you can see the waviness and the waviness height and waviness uh, spacing. And again if you consider the small portion of uh, the wavy waviness then it is when we enlarge it uh, we can see the micro irregularities, we can see the peaks and uh, valleys and uh, the distance between two peaks of roughness is known as uh, roughness uh, spacing and uh, uh, the, we consider a particular length of uh, the baby profile and then uh, we go for uh, studying or uh, the measuring uh, the roughness. So, this particular length is known as roughness uh, sampling length also it is known as uh, cutoff uh, length. And uh, the actually when the, when the mechanical engineer specifies the roughness we actually desire he specifies to have a desired profile like this which is almost. Uh, uh, flat and straight, but when we actually cut uh, the uh, work piece using uh, machine tool and cutting tool, uh, we get uh, the profile like this. When we measure it, we get the profile like this. These variations are due to many uh, reasons like uh, the vibration of the machine tool and uh, the uh, shape of uh, the cutting tool and then uh, 
the use of uh, various uh, parameters, machining parameters like uh, speed and feed, etc., etc. And then uh, here uh, you can see the uh, the surface is uh, tapered. So surface is tapered uh, like this. Okay, this is the surface uh, profile and. So, this is actually the combination of these three, the error of uh, error of uh, the form, form error which is the taper in this case and then we have uh, waviness and then we have uh, roughness. All these put together we get uh, the profile uh, like uh, this. And uh, now, if we take uh, the machining uh, operation very simple, uh, uh, very well known uh, machining operation that is turning operation. Uh, now, you can see this is the work piece and then we have uh, the cutting uh, tool with uh, some um, round uh, nose, this is the nose radius and then the cutting tool is fed in this particular uh, direction, this is the feeding direction and then uh, because of this uh, uh, radius, the tool mark appears on the machine surface like this. Okay, we get uh, the shape, concave uh, shapes uh, like this. So, this uh, gap that is distance between peak and valley is known as uh, the surface uh, roughness. This is actually the radial uh, depth of uh, cut and then this is the feed uh, rate uh, per revolution. So, when we vary the uh, feed rate, then uh, the roughness uh, will change. So, if you have a very fine uh, uh, feed, then we get uh, the uh, surface roughness like this. So, and if the nose radius is more and then uh, we get uh, the surface uh, roughness uh, like this. So, the geometry and the machining conditions do affect uh, the roughness of uh, the work piece. So, in this uh, diagram you can uh, see a turned uh, component, we have a turned component here, you can see on the face, this is the faced uh, portion, you can see the circuit, concentric circles and then on the periphery also we see the tool uh, marks and this is another uh, surface which is uh, face turned, we can see the concentric circles and then burr at the center and then various uh, the flaws, burrs on the uh, surface. So, when we vary the feed rate, this uh, uh, roughness uh, will also vary. Now, uh, surface uh, roughness in uh, machining uh, operation, when we machine the workpiece uh, surface, so we get uh, two kinds of uh, uh, surfaces, one is uh, the ideal uh, surface and the other one is uh, natural uh, surface. So, ideal roughness, it is a function of uh, feed and uh, geometry of the tool. We have discussed about this uh, feed and uh, geometry of the tool. When we vary, when we use a very fine uh, feed, the, we get a better uh, finish. Also, when uh, we have a sharp uh, point, uh, we, we get a good uh, uh, finish. It represents uh, the best possible finish uh, which can be obtained for a given uh, tool shape and uh, feed rate. It can be achieved only if uh, uh, the built up edge and charter and the inaccuracies in the machine tool movements are uh, eliminated uh, properly. Uh, so, this uh, diagram uh, shows that uh, from uh, uh, valley to valley, this gap is known as uh, uh, feed per uh, revolution and uh, this uh, these are the various angles on the cutting tool. So, because of this tool shape and feed rate, we get uh, the surface roughness. This uh, valley to peak distance is the R max, again a parameter used to designate uh, the surface uh, roughness. For a sharp uh, tool without any nose radius, the maximum height of unevenness is given by this uh, expression R max is equal to F is the feed rate divided by these uh, uh, cot uh, phi and cot uh, beta which are uh, the cutting tools uh, on the 
the angles, angles of the cutting the tool where f is the feed rate per revolution. And the surface roughness value is given by Ra is equal to R max divided by 4. Practical cutting tools are usually provided with a rounded corner. So, if it is very sharp, it will break easily and we get a blunt corner on the tool. The roughness value is closely related to the feed and corner radius by the following expression. Uh, we can use this if you know the radius, corner uh, radius of the tool nose radius and uh, feed rate, we can calculate what is the uh, RA value we are going to get. And then another one is uh, natural uh, roughness. Uh, this uh, uh, natural roughness we get because of various inaccuracies in the machine tool and then the vibration of the machine tool and cutting tool, charter of the uh, tool and then uh, occurrence of the built up edge of the cutting tool. Because of this, we get a surface which is known as natural roughness, which will be greater than the ideal surface finish. So, if we can eliminate this built up edge and vibration aspects of the machine tool, then we get a better finish. And then what are the factors affecting the surface finish? See, whenever two machine surfaces come in contact with uh, one another, the quality of the mating parts plays uh, an important role in the performance and wear of the mating part. That is, if two surfaces are very rough, then uh, the frictional uh, force will be more and uh, the more wear uh, will uh, take place. And if the surfaces are very smooth and uh, if we can uh, use some uh, lubricant then the movement uh, will be very smooth and the friction will be less and wear rate uh, will also be less. The height, shape and arrangement and direction of these surface irregularities on the work piece depend on a number of factors uh, such as machining variables which include what is the cutting speed, uh, we use higher the cutting speed and finer the feed rate we get a better uh, surface. Also what is the depth of cut, if we give uh, higher depth of cut then the cutting tool and workpiece may vibrate and we will get some roughness. And then tool geometry will also affect the surface finish. Some geometric factors which affect the finish are nose radius and then the various angles like rake angle and then side cutting edge angle, cutting edge. These are the cutting tool geometry will definitely affect the surface finish on the workpiece. And then the combination of workpiece material and tool material uh, and their mechanical properties will also affect uh, the finish of the workpiece. And uh, what type of machine tool we use, uh, very uh, robust and uh, uh, well uh, uh, built uh, machine tool if we use, uh, naturally we get a good uh, uh, finish. And then uh, the, uh, uh, the use of auxiliary tooling like uh, work press, and then proper loading of the workpiece between centers and the use of coolant, those things will also definitely affect the finish what we get. So, vibrations between workpiece, machine tool and cutting tool, this is also a very important factor which will definitely affect the finish. If we reduce these aspects, then we get good finish. And then this diagram will show the relative production cost or time necessary to produce a surface finish by different uh, processes. Uh, we can see here x axis is uh, it shows the RJ value in micrometers, the range is uh, 0.025 micrometer to 50 micrometer and in the y axis we have uh, 1 to 24 that is it is relative production time or relative uh, production uh, cost. Uh, in this uh, picture, we have uh, considered various uh, machining operations like uh, the cylindrical grinding, surface grinding and then uh, reaming operation, end milling, turning, peripheral milling operation, shaping and planing operation and drilling, uh, very commonly used uh, uh, the machining uh, operations. Now, we can understand that uh, whenever we want very fine surfaces, naturally we go for uh, grinding and then polishing operations. Now, here we have cylindrical grinding and surface uh, grinding uh, which, we, which are uh, able to give very fine uh, surfaces. Uh, 
with surface finish of less than 0.4 uh, micrometer Ra. So, naturally the production uh, time is more and uh, production cost is uh, more compared to the other uh, processes. Now, whenever uh, we want uh, a roughness value of 0.8 uh, micrometer Ra, now we can see this is possible to produce uh, uh, by various uh, machining operations. If it is uh, hole making operation, we can use uh, drilling uh, operation. I can see uh, 0.8 micrometer RA value can be obtained by many operations uh, like uh, drilling. If it is uh, hole making, we can uh, get it by drilling operation and then uh, shaping planing also will also give uh, 0.8 micrometer RA value and then uh, peripheral milling operation. It is also possible to have this finish uh, uh, by turning operation by proper uh, uh, usage of uh, machining parameters and end milling uh, also we can uh, use and then reaming also will uh, produce uh, this 0 0.8 micrometer RA. Now, we can uh, compare the relative uh, production time and relative production cost. So, uh, when we want 0 0.8 micrometer RA uh, finish, then the cylindrical grinding will easily uh, give uh, that uh, finish and the production time will be very ra rapidly they will be able to pro produce that uh, fine uh, finish. Now, when compared to the surface grinding and the cylindrical grinding, other uh, surface other machining operations become uh, uh, very uh, they consume uh, more uh, time. So, since grinding machines uh, they basically meant for uh, finishing operations, it is better uh, to use uh, cylindrical grinding or surface grinding whenever we require very uh, fine uh, surfaces. Whereas, uh, if we require fine finishes uh, uh, lesser than 0 0.5, 0 0.4 uh, micrometer RA, then naturally we have to go for uh, the grinding uh, operations. Now, uh, this uh, picture shows surface roughness values for common uh, production processes and uh, these are uh, roughness average or RA value in terms of uh, micrometers. You can see range is 0 0.025 micrometer to 50 micrometer RA value and these uh, uh, this row shows the ISO grades N1 grade, N2 grade up to N12 uh, grade. Uh, the N1, N2, N3 they are uh, uh, fine, uh, they provide fine finishes and then we use N10, N11, N12 grades whenever we want to specify a rough uh, surfaces. Uh, we have considered uh, the various uh, production processes like sand casting, hot rolling and an extruding operation, uh, planing, drilling, EDM process, milling. So, and then fine uh, finishing operations like grinding, honing, electro polishing. Now, you can see here these uh, uh, finishing uh, uh, processes like grinding, honing, lapping, super finishing, they are able to give uh, very fine uh, uh, finishes. I can see here the range is uh, uh, from 0 0.05 up to 0 0.8 uh, micrometer RA. Super finishing can provide even uh, the finer uh, finish of up to 0 0.025 micrometer uh, RA. Now, depending upon the availability, whether which uh, facility is available, we can appropriately select the machining operation. And then for uh, uh, rough uh, surfaces, we can always go for these uh, uh, the milling, uh, drilling, planing operations, which are able to provide uh, the finish in the range of uh, 0 0.8 to uh, 6.3 micrometer RA. Now, you can see this is sand cast process. In the case of sand cast uh, uh, surface, the finish will be very rough like uh, 12.5 to 25 micrometer uh, RA. So, if uh, machining is required, then if finer finish is required because of uh, the movement of other uh, uh, sliding uh, surfaces, then we can go for machining operations to produce uh, required uh, finish. Now, recently uh, some uh, newer uh, machining uh, processes have uh, come up. And one such thing is plain uh, glass cutting by hot air uh, jet. Uh, the hot air jet uh, was used to cut the glass uh, uh, plain glass plates. 
So, there are other methods like laser cutting, water jet cutting and then uh, diamond cutting is uh, most commonly used, but they uh, provide very rough surface. Whereas, this hot air jet cutting uh, is able to give very fine finish of uh, uh, so some 0.3 micrometer Rea to 0.8 uh, micrometer uh, Rea. Now, uh, after understanding these uh, the basics of surface finish and how to produce uh, the uh, finish, uh, we will understand how the finish surface texture is indicated on the technical uh, drawings. Now, you can see here this uh, uh, we have two lines separated by 60 degree, one uh, uh, li longer line and one uh, shorter line. Uh, th this is the basic uh, uh, symbol which is used to indicate the surface roughness on uh, 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 technical uh, drawings and you can see the lengths are unequal and they are separated by 60 degree and uh, the symbol, this symbol uh, must be represented by a thin uh, line. This is the basic uh, symbol uh, used to indicate the roughness on the uh, in the technical uh, drawings. If it is required to machine the surface, if the uh, surface is to be made by some machining operation or by uh, some uh, removal of material, then uh, you can see here a bar is added. So, this indicates that machining is required. That means, we have to remove the material by machining operation like uh, maybe turning operation or milling operation or uh, uh, the shaping operation something uh, like that. Now, if removal of material is not permitted, then a circle is added, bar is removed and circle is uh, added. So, this indicates that no removal is permitted. Uh, it should be left as uh, uh, like a cast surface. So, no further uh, machining is uh, to be made. And then when special surface characteristic uh, are to be indicated, for example, maybe electro plating or uh, the surface should be uh, uh, electro plating or painting, uh, then uh, a bar is added here to the longer uh, uh, line. And then what is the, how that uh, sort of a special characteristic is to be produced uh, uh, should be written on this uh, horizontal line. Now, if, uh, sometimes uh, we, we specify what is the roughness uh, that is needed. Uh, now, you can see here we have uh, three symbols here. So, A indicates the surface uh, roughness uh, value. So, if uh, no parameter, no parameter is sp specified then it is understood that uh, the value represents Ra value in terms of uh, micrometer. If other parameters are required then Rt value or Rp value or, or max value then the, 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 that should be clearly mentioned. Now, here the, uh, the symbol uh, number 1 uh, roughness uh, A is obtained by production uh, some production process the, it which is not mentioned which production method is not mentioned ok like uh, maybe uh, it is a cast uh, surface or a forged surface or an extruded uh, surface. And in the symbol 2, we have a bar is added, it indicates that some machining operation has been uh, done. And the symbol 3 has a circle here, it indicates that surface is obtained without the removal of material. Now, sometimes it is necessary to mention the two values, upper limit of the roughness and then lower limit of the roughness. In that case, uh, we use uh, this uh, symbol wherein we have used A1 and A2. A1 indicates uh, the maximum uh, surface finish and uh, A2 indicates uh, the minimum uh, surface uh, finish. You can see here, uh, uh, we have used uh, this uh, basic uh, symbol. This is the surface on which uh, the symbol is uh, mentioned and then here uh, we have uh, um, two Ra values are uh, mentioned, this is the maximum Ra value that is A1 and then minimum Ra value. So, 125 and 63. So, it is uh, in microns, Ra value is 125 microns and R, uh, it varies from 63 micrometer to 125 uh, micrometer. And then you can see there is another uh, symbol uh, uh, mentioned here, inverted uh, T. So, this is uh, to indicate the lay. So, now, uh, this is uh, the surface 
okay, surface uh, under uh, question. And then now we have used this symbol, it, this indicates that some machining operation uh, is required and it also shows uh, the lay direction. That means, uh, to the surface that is mentioned, to this uh, particular surface, lay is perpendicular. That means, perpendicular to the direction of lay, we have to measure the surface uh, roughness. And uh, this shows that uh, the uh, lay is, uh, um, it is both ang it is uh, angle, lay angular in both uh, directions. That Okay, to uh, if the surface is like this, then we use uh, x uh, shape here. And we can also see on the horizontal line, we have mentioned maximum uh, waviness height, okay, like uh, so distance between uh, peak to valley. What is the maximum waviness height that is mentioned here? So, it is 0 0.002 micrometer or 2, uh, 0 0.002 millimeter or uh, 2 micrometer and maximum waviness width is also mentioned here, it is 2 millimeter. That means, so this uh, gap is uh, 2 millimeter and then roughness width uh, cutoff is also mentioned here. We will uh, learn about this cutoff uh, in uh, greater detail after some time and maximum roughness uh, width, this is maximum roughness width 0 0.005 millimeter. Now, you can see here, if uh, it is required to produce uh, the surface with a particular production method like shaping operation or turning operation or grinding operation, then that is uh, mentioned uh, on the horizontal uh, line. So, you can see here, so this is the symbol, we have a bar here it indicates that uh, surface is to be machined by some operation. What is that operation is mentioned here, turning operation and what is the roughness value that is also mentioned uh, here. And sometimes what is the allowance, machining allowance that is provided in the work piece uh, is also indicated in the symbol. Okay. This is a 5 uh, millimeter machining allowance is uh, provided on the work piece. Uh, and these are uh, the some other uh, uh, types of uh, indication as per uh, the ANSI uh, standards. So, you can see here the removal of material uh, by machining is optional. We can remove uh, by machining or otherwise and here it is obligatory. Since we have uh, this bar and then uh, uh, the machining preparation of the surface is required by machining operation. So, here uh, grade is mentioned and here uh, the roughness value is uh, mentioned. Uh, since no parameter is mentioned, it is understood that it is RA value in micrometer. And here uh, uh, no machining is uh, required. We need N8 uh, grade or 3.2 micrometer uh, surface finish RA without the removal of uh, material. And here uh, the limits are uh, mentioned, maximum roughness and uh, minimum uh, roughness values are uh, mentioned. Now, these are various kinds of uh, surface uh, texture symbols. Now, uh, you can uh, see here, uh, if uh, inverted T is used, then uh, the uh, lay is perpendicular to the direction in which uh, the measurement is uh, made. And here uh, the cross uh, hatch uh, type uh, texture is there and uh, lay is multidirectional, then we say M and if the lay is parallel to the, the uh, measurement of uh, surface finish and then we use uh, this particular symbol parallel. Okay. And then uh, if uh, the surface texture is concentric uh, like this, then we use this particular symbol. This happens when we turn uh, the work piece in the face turning uh, operation. Okay. And then we have a particulate non-directional uh, texture, then we use this uh, P3. And then uh, when we the have uh, the texture like this, radial relative to the center of the surface then we use this particular uh, 
symbol R. Now, you can see here these diagrams show how the surface texture or surface finish is indicated on uh, drawings. Now, you can see here uh, we have uh, a hole here machined uh, hole you can see the symbol here. So, we have uh, this uh, symbol with bar it indicates that the surface is to be produced uh, by machining operation normally drilling uh, operation. You can see here uh, drilling drilling operation uh, can uh, provide us uh, with uh, roughness uh, varying from uh, 1.6 to 6.3, 1.6 micrometer R8 to 6.3. So, here we have mentioned 3.2 micrometer R8. So, this uh, hole can be produced uh, by drilling operation and here it is uh, 3.2 uh, micrometer uh, R A. Now, uh, if uh, required we can uh, go for uh, rimming uh, operation. So, rimming uh, can provide us uh, the a finish of 0 0.8 to 3.2, point, point 0.8 to 3.2 micrometer uh, RA. So, if better uh, uh, drilled hole is required, better finish in the hole is required, then we can go for uh, rimming. And here we can see the grades are used, okay. uh, this is a single uh, triangle and uh, double uh, triangles are used. Now, from this diagram you can understand single uh, triangle means it can it is a very rough surface Maybe it is uh, uh, as cast surface is as ca cast and uh, no machining uh, is uh, needed. And here uh, we have a hole in which uh, two grades as uh, a two triangle grade is used. So, two triangle grade means Uh, we can uh, use uh, machining operations like uh, milling, uh, drilling operation, planing operation. So, such uh, machining operations can be used to produce a two triangle uh, finish. Okay, the, uh, so, like this we can uh, indicate the surface finish on technical uh, drawings. Now, these pictures show some uh, roughness uh, profile when we actually use some measuring instrument and uh, when we measure the surface uh, finish uh, we get uh, the surface uh, profiles uh, like this we should understand that uh, the see this is the workpiece uh, surface and uh, say we have a stylus like this so this uh, stylus is moved so because of uh, the roughness waviness and form error the stylus will move up and down when we draw the stylus on the surface, because of these uh, variations, the stylus will move up and down. So, this up and down movement is amplified and then uh, we get uh, the roughness uh, profiles uh, like this. So, normally these uh, peaks and valleys uh, high asperity heights are uh, very small in terms of microns. So, a very large magnification is used. Uh, uh, to amplify this uh, vertical uh, movement and uh, the horizontal magnification is uh, normally uh, less. So, horizontal magnification may be some uh, 100 times or 200 times whereas, uh, the vertical magnification will be uh, a few thousands may be like 1000, 5000, 10000. So, if it is very fine surface produced by grinding, lapping, uh, super finishing process then uh, we have to use very high magnification like uh, 50000 or 1 lakh. If it is a very surface produced by a turning operation or shaping operation or planing operation, in that case it will be very rough, surface will be very rough and we can use the lesser magnification like 1000, 2000, 3000. Now, uh, let us try to understand what are the various uh, parameters uh, used to 
specify the surface uh, finish. So, uh, we should understand some of the terminologies like uh, mean uh, line. So, this is a straight line uh, that is generated on the profile uh, resulting in equal areas above and below the line. For example, we say we have a, a profile uh, like this. Now, we have to draw a line, a straight line like this, okay, such that equal areas above and below the line. We get equal, so we have area here, area above uh, the main line and then area below the main line. So, we should draw the straight line, maybe by trial and error method, so that area above the area between the straight line and the profile above the main line and area below the main line they are equal. Or uh, we can always use uh, some uh, software to establish uh, this uh, straight line. So, this main line is also known as uh, center uh, line. And then uh, profile uh, we understood it is a combination of uh, form error and then waviness and uh, roughness and uh, roughness uh, parameters, non-periodic uh, finer irregularities in the surface structure which are inherent in the production process because of various uh, reasons. So, these are uh, a measure of vertical characteristic of uh, the surface and then we should understand what is the meaning of uh, sampling length. This is the area selected or the length uh, selected for assessment and evaluation of uh, roughness parameter having the cutoff uh, wavelength. Any surface irregularities spaced farther apart than the sampling length are considered uh, as uh, waviness. So, the sampling length is also known as uh, cutoff length. It is something let us say we have uh, some uh, wavy uh, profile like this. So, we consider we take a small portion of this and then we enlarge this to get uh, the uh, roughness uh, profile. So, this length that is selected is uh, known as uh, cutoff length. So, this cutoff length selection depends upon what is the machining process used and uh, uh, yeah, depending upon the process uh, that is used, uh, machining process uh, that is used, we select uh, the sampling uh, length. Now, this uh, shows a surface, surface profile uh, measurement uh, lens. So, this is the total length which is known as uh, traversing length which uh, tra traversed by the stylus of the instrument. Out of this, so initially we have some uh, run up length and then uh, over travel length which is not considered to evaluate the uh, length uh, the surface and uh, this distance is known as evaluation uh, length uh, L. And normally, the, it consists of five uh, sampling uh, lengths. So, evaluation length is uh, divided into five lengths. Each length is called sampling length or uh, cutoff uh, length, which uh, it, is indicated, indicated by uh, small uh, L. Now, uh, uh, let me conclude uh, this uh, lecture. In this lecture, uh, we discussed about uh, the basic aspects of uh, surface roughness. We try to understand what is waviness, what is uh, roughness, what is form error and what is the meaning of uh, uh, profile and what are the various production processes and what type of uh, the roughness value they are able to give and then what is the meaning of uh, center line, mean line and what is the meaning of sampling length, cutoff length, uh, those things. Uh, we studied and also we studied how to indicate the surface roughness on uh, technical uh, drawings. So, with this uh, we will conclude this uh, lecture. In the next class, uh, we will uh, continue the discussion on measurement of uh, surface finish. Thank you. Yeah.